gunmen subdued security agencies federal government confesses at last yes the federal government has admitted that uh, the security agents were overpowered by the terrorists to gain access into the Kujie Correctional Center to release their colleagues, their fellow terrorists, from the custodian center. And uh, the federal government said that um, those uh, terrorists had superior ammunition that they used to subdue or overpower those security agents. The Minister of Police Affairs, Mohammed Ingiadi, made a statement at a security meeting with the President Muhammad Buhari. So this goes a long way to show that uh, Nigerian police, Nigerian army, Nigerian the civil defense corps, the the navy, the air force, and the other military and paramilitary departments in the Nigerian security architecture has fared woefully. Yes, because it then shows that corruption has eaten into the fabrics of the country, particularly the military. The military is supposed to be, you know, a place where um, you see some sane minds, if you can get one in a given country. Where you see people who believe in due process, where you see trained officers who believe that things must be done the way it should be, or the way it should. But come to Nigeria, the deterioration, the corruption, the rot is in every sector, the army inclusive, the military inclusive. Nigeria has sunk so much money, billions of naira, into the military equipment, into the military armament, but there's nothing to show for it. It's laughable that a country like Nigeria will say that gunmen overpowered its security agents to have access into their custodial center at the capital city. It is laughable and regrettable, honestly speaking. It beats one's imagination. But alas, that's true. They have to admit they have no option. It's embarrassing. Yes, they have spent billions of naira. They say they are purchasing arms and ammunition. They are purchasing to Canada just from US and all, and from here and there. No one is true. All lies. All lies. And today they have admitted to the that the superior firepower of the gunmen actually subdued the, uh, their, their security agents. And the Minister of Police said, again, said, because it was not anticipated, the attack was not anticipated, and so the police, or the security agents were subdued because they were few in number. And he was saying, in, in Nigeria, the security agencies are saying that they weren't anticipating an attack where just Barely five days ago, the terrorists you know, attacked the military base and killed over 36 military men or military officers. Over 36 military officers were killed in that attack just five or six days ago, before barely three days before the attack in Kujia prison. And the police said, or the security agents, or even the Minister of Police Affairs, Mohammed Dengiadi, that they weren't, aspect, they, they, they weren't aspect, anticipating the attack. So it goes a long way to show that the security architecture of the country has collapsed com completely. Nothing is still standing. Nothing is still standing. Honestly speaking, it's laughable and it's embarrassing and regrettable because Nigerians are the ones playing with their lives. It's not something that we'll toy with or we'll, we'll laugh over. Nigerians are paying with their lives on daily basis. Nobody knows who will pay the ultimate price in the future from and you know onward people are moving from one place to the other this insecurity is not the in a particular place before it was only in the northeast when buhari came on board they said they have decimated them they have technically defeated Boko haram they have technically defeated Boko haram that is the language of the information minister who has gone who has gone a wall of course it's not saying anything he is not saying anything again the liar himself Mr. Lai Mohammed, who has continued to lie to Nigerians, it seems he has gone out of um, circulation, I don't know, but he has gone a wall. He is not saying anything again. 
So, and um, they have sunk billions of naira into the army, into the military, to buy equipment, and nothing to show for it. Nothing to show for it. So the security was the insecurity was majorly in the northeast before Buhari came on board. Like we have always used to say, before it exacerbated, it snowballed, it spilled down to the northwest where they christened them bandits. They dubbed them bandits. It, it also snowballed into the north central where you have Benue, you have Taraba, or the the uh, uh, no, the the Kwara states, the Kogi states, where you have the Nasrawa. So, and uh, all these states have ex experienced several attacks from the Fulani headsmen. So, and this Buhari regime, I think, is the worst in the history of Nigeria. So, the army, the police, and the Nigerian security admitted that they have failed and the Bugu Haram, the gunmen have superior firepower, they have superior equipment over a country, over a country like Nigeria that prides itself as a giant of Africa, the most populous country in the, in the, in the whole of Africa, they are saying that they have no equipment to fight the insurgents. That's what they are saying. And so we are concerned about Nigerians who are paying dearly every day with their lives. People have loved their loved ones. People have seen horror. People are still, you know, trying to recover from the shock of several attacks on them by these hoodlums, by these bandits, by these terrorists, by these herdsmen from the Sahel. So what are we not talking about? It is pathetic. Yes, nowhere is safe in Nigeria. The southeast, not safe. South south, not safe. Southwest, not safe. You saw the attack on a church in Owa, on those states in the southwest of Nigeria. And they said Islam have claimed responsibility for that attack. And so it is so it is pathetic. Nigerians are, you know, they are um, beleaguered. They are perturbed because of the security situation in the country. And so nobody to help. Nobody to help. The Nigerian state is in turmoil. Nigeria is a fair state completely. And that's when we hear about the vote for me, vote for me. People are shouting. We're going to ask ourselves. This vote for me, is it the panacea? Is it the remedy to these multifaceted security challenges you are facing? It is the is, the, is it the, the, the panacea? Is it the way out to this imbroglio in this dungeon we have found ourselves? Obviously, no.